Hi everyone and welcome to codingjust.com. Guys, in this video, I will show you how you can use Retrofit to get data from API using uh, Kotlin in your Android application. So, this is our project and uh, we will be using this JSON placeholder link. I will put this link in the description below. You can copy it from uh, description. And uh, the first thing, uh, first uh, we need to add uh, these two dependencies for retrofit and the one for uh, JSON converter. Okay, I will also put these uh, dependency in uh, the description below so you can copy it from the description. And uh, most important thing is uh, we need to add uh, the internet permission uh, uses permission and simply type internet and in your manifest file to communicate uh, with our API uh, using the internet. Okay and uh, here as you can see this is uh, my api clause and uh, here we have a get uh, request and the endpoint is uh, comments okay and uh, i uh, call it uh, i call this function get comments and this uh, this will return the list of comments and this is uh, the call okay so this is the type of call and in this call we will uh, be getting the list of comments from the api the json placeholder api okay and this is our uh, comments data class so here we have uh, different kind of uh, variables like body email id name and post id uh, which data you want to get from the api so in our main activity we will create a private function here private function get all comments and inside this function we will create our api call so api is equal to retrofit dot builder okay dot builder then we type base url so the base url will be our base url or or the root url which is uh, defined here okay and uh, now we will add the converter factory so add converter factory and simply type json converter factory dot create and we will build our request and then we will create our api so create and we will class the api class which is uh, my api class dot java okay so this is our retrofit request and now we will call this so to call this request in uh, kotlin so simply type api dot get comments okay and this get comments is coming from this my api class okay and now we will come back here and uh, simply type dot nq and type object and simply type call because we are getting the call this uh, get comments is the type of call so import this and make sure you import the right one which is the retrofit too so simply click on enter and here type list and the list of which list of comments okay and now we will just simply add curly braces here and hit enter and if we uh, check here so it it says implement uh, members so simply click on the implement members and uh, okay so i think i made a mistake here okay and uh, let me remove it so it will be object uh, sorry it will be a callback not a call i think yeah it will be a callback not a call so list and comments and add a curly braces here and now if we go to implement method or simply type uh, uh, move your cursor here and simply uh, alt enter and implement members and as you can see on response and on failure so simply uh, select this uh, two and now what we will do here in the on response we will get our response and on failure we will uh, catch some errors from the api or network errors and uh, what i will do here i will just simply check here if response that is successful then it means that uh, we are getting 200 code from the api so simply type response dot body and we will add let uh, function here and inside this let we will add a for loop so for comment in it okay it means that uh, this response body and inside this for loop we will add a log cat uh, simply type log i 
and we have a tag here okay you can create your own tag or you can simply pass it hard coded here and in the on response uh, what i will do okay i will uh, get the comment body so simply type dollar sign and uh, it dot sorry not it type comment dot body okay and uh, on in on failure what we will do we will simply create a log i also on failure and what we will do we will get the error t dot message okay so if we got some error so we will catch it here and now i will run my application Now if I go to the log cat and uh, I will just simply copy this tag, check the response and uh, okay the process is started but we are not getting any comments here and just may rerun it again. If I go to the log cat okay okay uh sorry my bad i forgot to call this method and make sure you call this method when it is created so get all comments and now i will run my app and if i go to the log cat so you will notice we will get all the comments here okay unable to resolve Player, so no edge associated with the host name. Okay, so we will check what's the issue here on failure. And if I go to this link, um, it's working, I think, but uh, it seems my internet is really slow. And if I type simply slash comments so we should get the comments response yeah we are getting the comments response and uh, what i will do i will rerun my app again and now we will check if we get in the comments or not so this is uh, due to internet yeah as you can see we are getting all the comments which are printed here in the log cat so uh, the delay was uh, because of my internet which is very slow and now as you can see uh, we are getting all the comments here okay and this is the comment uh, comments body and now if i change it to something like uh, email and i run my app again maybe it takes some time again for uh, getting the response yeah. okay so as you can see we are getting all the emails from the comments api so that's how you can uh, get uh, data uh, json data from your api using retrofit in your android application with kotlin so if you like this video please share this video with your friends and also make sure you are subscribed to my channel and the bell notification option is on so you won't miss the upcoming videos